not only are we showcasing the remarkably creative work of some of Canada's most promising new artists, we are celebrating the 17th anniversary of the BMO First Art competition. We have been privileged to celebrate and share with Canada and beyond the works of 224 new and emerging artists from coast to coast to coast. This is my work, a sound sculpture installation that listens to sound in a particular space and prints out the duration of silences in real time. The piece was created uh, by modifying a receipt printer, uploading some code into it and getting it to listen to a particular space that it's installed in and printing out uh, the durations of silences in real time. This series is literal uncertainty and it's a combination of coastal erosion and its effect on the neighboring communities and also exploring different structures that we put in place to protect the land. Winning BMO First Art Competition has been a really amazing experience. Um, it's so cool to come and have a show with people from across the country. This piece sets a reminder to everyone, especially the youth and young generation, to never take time, freedom, abundance and opportunities uh, for granted. Winning BMO First Art Award is uh, such an honor for me, together with uh, young emerging talents across Canada. My piece is called The Night Guide. It's inspired by uh, a legend from my culture. When people pass on, they go to the Northern Lights and dance until they're ready to move on. The role of The Night Guide is to help bring people to the Northern Lights. This was kind of a, a really process-based piece where um, I, I began doing field recordings um, outside and then um, I looped them onto uh, the tape machines that you see back there. Um, and then I started to make visuals in response to the sounds that I recorded. To kind of counterbalance the, the gear-heavy nature of the analog gear, I brought in some color with um, the photography on fabric that you see. Inspired by Donna Haraway, a writer who wrote this really important essay called A Cyborg Manifesto. And within the essay, she spoke about how the cyborg is a rejection of the organic family. And I was interested in that link between the organic family and drag families and queer families being a rejection of organic families and creating a virtual reality piece that kind of explores queer identity. Bringing the past to the future, like past practices and merging two different art styles, like traditional art and digital art together, which was really interesting for me. The pieces in this show are the result of months and years of study and experimentation, and the ideas and experiences that inform them are far-ranging. They're all exceptional pieces by talented new artists. Mental health, overcoming it, but then struggling again, so like falling back into it. Mon installation vidéo, ça s'appelle Fossile Possible. Et euh, en fait, avec cette installation, euh, je questionne les notions d'identité, de, de perception et de frontières qu'on se construit. J'essaie d'apporter une vision un peu plus poreuse de ces frontières-là. Euh, L'idée de se sentir un peu plus unie avec euh, l'altérité au sens large, les autres, personnes, l'environnement. Deals with the juxtaposition of painting and textiles and um, sort of is about the uncovering of personal truth. So doing that, um, combining small text with such a large format in painting allows for the viewer to step into the work and to uncover personal truths. Winning BMO First Art is definitely a major boost towards um, my career as an artist. My piece is called Nihio Esku. It started out with critiquing the institution, being aware of my own indigenous bodies in that space. And then I moved that work into different locations, two in BC, two in Wavaska. It's important for me to also work for my own territory. In the performance, I'm working with my mother, and that is so important to me. The rug hooking with uh, removable letters um, so that the viewer can kind of put in their own message. Um, but essentially, it has two messages, the first being uh, run from here, and the second being return once more. Winning BMO for start uh, was a really big deal for me. Um, coming from Newfoundland and Labrador and kind of getting recognized in that way uh, was really phenomenal. 
especially with a piece that's so much about Newfoundland culture and my feelings towards that place. Um, it's just been a phenomenal experience. I feel very lucky. Um, so it's a photograph of a photograph. So what I do is I take the photograph and then print it, and then um, print it in segments, and then piece it back together, and then I scan it again. And so the final image is um, a scan of photographs. Um, and the work back there is taken in the same sitting and shot with, uh, within seconds of each other and brought back together. And so it's like one continuous image. My name is Luther Kunedu and I'm the national winner for the BMO First Art Competition. <laughs>